Hey everybody, Sharma32 here. Welcome to the channel. We're here today to react to the eighth episode of season one slash season 14 of Doctor Who. This one is entitled Empire of Death. Finale already. Eight episodes is not enough, but I have faith that Ruffle has crafted a story that is just perfect for eight episodes and no more, no less type thing. Like if people like go from like, if people go from having something that's like 12 or 24 or whatever episodes to this amount it there's a reason i would hope i would hope so because so far i think this has been good like oh boy how the hell this has got to lead on to the christmas special because how the hell are they going to wrap up new tech in one episode it's got to lead on to something in the christmas special it has to now I said this last time, and I, I said this last time, I'm currently on season three of classic Doctor Who. Um, I'm not sure what season Who Tech is in it, but I know, thanks to people's comments, despite my asking that I didn't want to know anything, I know he is from Period of Mars, and it's um, the fourth Doctor, Tom Baker. Don't know what season, though, what series. I don't know. I purposely have avoided watching the new um tales of the tardis because like usually my memory is awful so i'm still on first doctor series three um i've just done daleks of age of, of earth the next one i think is massacre of st bartholomew's eve i think's the next story and um obviously i'm several years away from getting to whichever season pyramid of mars is my memory is usually terrible like, I have trouble remembering stuff from the previous episodes. But I had a weird... I've just had a weird feeling all this week, like, thinking about doing um, the Tales of the TARDIS, that this would be the one time I would remember stuff. So it would be my luck that I would remember from that, you know? It's just... what a, Like, if you try and put, like, okay... It's fine, I won't remember this. I'd get to the period of Mars and be like, oh, shit, I know what happened. <laughs> and I don't want to know i do not want to know but oh boy that episode i was I, I was glad it wasn't susan our susan the doctor's granddaughter because i didn't want susan to be used like that i'm i'm so glad it wasn't i feel sorry for susan hang on so all i've got in my head is susan twist but that's the actress's name Shit. And all I think I remember from her logo would have been Triad. That's Triad. That's it, Triad. I was like trying to, I had the logo rearranging multiple times in my head and I just couldn't remember which one it was because obviously they got the wrong anagram. Oh, but oh, yeah. like I've seen some people complain that like with the Sutek thing, like, oh God, people haven't watched Classic, they're not going to know. They're not going to like that for not, that ending. I haven't seen it yet. I freaking loved it. Because, like, it just, like, it gave me chills because I was like, okay, obviously a character from the from Classic, just from the way they set it up and the fact that the Doctor obviously knew the name, it was obviously a character from Classic. I'm like, right, there's certain reactions I'm going to need to watch because I need to see their reaction, like Calvin from Blind Wave. I didn't watch their discussion, but just in case he explained it, but his reaction, like, oh, my God, type thing. Because, like, he loves Tom Baker, so, like, I had to watch that. I was, like, excited, like, going, I love it when they bring back classic characters. I'm still holding out for the Time Meddler Monk. I don't know if he come after Dalek's um, Master Plan. Dalek's Master Plan, not Invasion of Earth. Ugh. Sorry, I've got Dalek's Invasion of Earth movie up there. But um, I would love it for him to come back in some capacity. But um, I love it when classic characters come back. And, like, it's, like, just because it's cool. I like how, see how they've interpreted it, changed the costumes and all that. But also I'm excited for people that have seen them to get to see those characters back. And I'm I'm excited. And um, I want, I'm hoping there's some resolution with um Ruby's, who we assume is Ruby's mother. I don't. It's no confirmation that it is Ruby's mother because it could just be Ruby herself. It could be anyone. Well, it might not even be a female. We know they're white because of the hand. 
the pointing towards the TARDIS, which we believe now is to show the Doctor that there was something around it. Or that's what I, I'm, I'm assuming, anyway. But it, it was just over white. That's it. It looked female, just from, like, the posture and stuff like that, but it might not be. But we... Do, oh, God, now my chair's squeaky, creaking. I'm all over the place. I've just watched the finale for um, season three of The Good Place. I've had to have 20 minutes. If you've watched that episode, you can understand why I was a mess. But anyway, um, yeah, it could be Ruby. It might not be her mother. Like, maybe she was created and that's why... Maybe she's a member of the Pantheon or a child of the Pantheon. I don't know. Um, who the frick is Mrs. Flood? I've seen multiple theories. Like, there's one like Flood. Pond. River. Be interesting. Or she could be Susan. Or I saw some people saying, like, Susan, because she's related to the Doctor. I don't know if she's a Time Lord, because it, it, the Time Lord Academy, Gadleth Rain, blah, blah. Um... She could like, but she's related to the Doctor, who was a um was the timeless child, so she would inherently have the um regeneration ability, I would assume. So maybe she did the same thing as Ten did, and um basically maybe she is Mister Flood, Mister Flood, Mrs. Flood, or she's somebody else, and Mrs. Flood is like like how um like uh Ten had um Martha watching over him and stuff like that. Could be that kind of thing. Or could be somebody to re relate it to Sutak. Mrs. Flood could be somebody to relate it to Sutak because she knew... Because she's... I swear she has something to do with the Pantheon in some way because of the fact she's looked at the camera. We've had... Um, obviously, Meister looked at the camera. Toymaker looked at the camera. Doctor did as well, but the Doctor's the Doctor. Maybe Thumbless Child might be having something to do with the Pantheon. They could... Re work that way and that would explain why he's able to look at the camera but, um, and she also knew the, the storm was coming in so I'm intrigued I've waffled on for longer than I intended I apologize it's a finale I'm nervous I get I struggle to start finales and also oh this is a big one and I've got a headache coming on and I'm still a mess from the good place but I'm excited I'm interested to see what's going to happen and I'm oh I just I'm going to get going before I hesitate even longer. If you enjoyed this reaction, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Give the notification bell a tick. You'll know when the next episode goes live. Episode goes live. That'll be the Christmas finale. Christmas finale special. Like, <laughs> let's get going with the reaction in three, two, one. Let's go. Oh, I am so nervous, guys. Great, and now my fucking... Oh, thank you for the previous lay. Are we going to get a previously from Classic? I feel so sorry for Sue, that Susan. For Sue, sorry. That's what her friends call her, Sue. I'm sorry for her because she seemed like she was a really nice woman. She seemed so sweet. And the, in a very quick, um, Kate's chrysalis theory, it's kind of right, wasn't it? But I have, I've got a weird feeling like, it, like I don't know how they're going to resolve everything. So it's, gonna, it's got to lead on to the Christmas special. And um, I feel like we're going to get more, we might get some answers, but not all of them. And we might get more questions. But of course, it's written by Russell. Of course, it has to be. Never had death. That's terrifying. Okay, here we go. Everybody fucking run. At least they listen to him. Oh, God, that cracking. Sand. Oh god, sand. Is that gonna kill them all? Don't you kill her. Like, obviously, I'm even further off from her episodes of Classic. But. Kate, I love her already. Plus, the actress is a legend. Kate, don't kill Kate. Don't. No. No! Over fire, all weapons! I love that! Oh, get it! That is so cool. Bullets turn to dust, man. Don't kill Kate! Please don't kill Kate! Kate, run! Run! Kate, run! Oh, one day. I bring Sutex dust of death. No! No! Not any of them! No! 
Links! Oh, no, this is me signing off. With thanks and love. No, oh, no, Kate! Not him, not no, not Morris, no! Birds will sing again. <gasps> there will be birds. There's nothing we can do. That's what she'd want. Okay, no. What about the whole of Earth? They've got to like reset things, right? Wouldn't they be safer, safer if they shut all the windows and doors and everything? All, all the, with the buses and that like be de decayed. Okay, they've got to reset it. They can't have killed Kate. Do you believe in the power of prayer? I most certainly do. Then tell your maker I will come to storm down his gates of gold and seize his kingdom in my true name. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What you talking about? She's another of the Pantheon, right? I'm so, so sorry. It ends like this. <gasps> no! She's got to be a member of the Pantheon or a herald. <gasps> These are the last surviving ones in the building. They were protected. <laughs> this is the one from Tales of the Tardis. Right? It is. Work. What the hell is... What? This is the Tales of the Tardis one. I've seen pictures of it, but that, that, what the hell? That is so fucking cool. Sorry, I'm in good place mode, still. It's a TARDIS remembered. It's made of memories. Ruby, it is feeding off you. Yeah, give it everything you've got, babes. Remember it harder. Yes, yes, yes I can, yes. Come on, Rubes, you can do it. But holy four, I love the fact that you actually went in it. Yes, yes, that's it. Come on, Rubes, make it solid. She like the snow. She makes the snow solid. She can make the TARDIS solid. Yes. Do it. It's not the actual TARDIS. So will it's that? Could be the same console, or has he got to? Doctor. Oh my God. We meet again, my old friend. That's the same voice from the um classic too. The death of ages, the Typhonian beast. The greatest monster I have ever fought. Shit for him to say that? The time it does my memories too. Oh my god! That well, I haven't avoided it then. I knew I wasn't going to, but this is cool. Now I know Shit. To the heart of your time machine, and I can bend it to my will. His what uh, the doctors were like um fob watches in there. Like the memory one of like timeless child stuff because 13 put it down there. Will that come into effect? Every single world, I burst them all. My angels of death now standing triumphant across the harbingers. I bring Sutex dust of death. So every world he's been is going to have a Susa a so on it. I will defeat you. And I will turn back death. And why am I still alive? Killing Ooh. me is your gift. And believe me, Sutek, I am an extinction event. Why is the god of death not killing me? Does he have to stay alive? Have you ever felt so alive? <laughs> doesn't it feel good? <laughs> <laughs> Get inside that one. Oh, the scarf! What is it? It's the memory one. Oh, and the coat, Colin Baker's coat. Is that Seven's? Seven was my first memory of any kind. I, and that, that is definitely Colin Baker's coat. That's so cool. I want to see if there's anything I recognize in this. This is so fucking cool. They're in the. This is so cool. 
Oh, she's loving it. She's in the TARDIS again. They've got to reset her. Because otherwise, at least... Oh, they've got to reset everything. Come on. This is amazing. I'm sorry, I'm looking at all the back. I can't help it. You oh. This is amazing. The jukebox. Okay, so the, the TARDIS has a perception filter. So it uh -huh. doesn't get noticed. It just sits there kind of unseen because it casts a field around it at 66.7 meters exactly. 73 yards. How do you know that? 73 yards! I, I, I don't know what just to do. Oh my god! Funny things happen at 73 yards. People say that you can see things. Yeah! Doctor, you landed on Earth a hundred times. I think she was reborn every time. Each time the TARDIS would land, the idea of that woman would get stronger and stronger. By 2024, she was Susan Triad. Okay. What she on? Suta called her an angel of death. What did she do? Planet's gone. Oh my god, it's almost got the whole world. Holy moly. Will it reach into space? The dust of death. Her mum's gone. That was. And Kate and Rose and the doctor, technically. 1999, 1066. The earth is dying. <laughs> so many times. Oh my god. God, oh, this soundtrack is incredible this season. Having Murray back is amazing. Every world that I ever stood upon is dying. Imagine how we feel. Oh my God. Telos, Karn. A Karn! And Skyro. The Daleks are dead. Everything is dead. Oh my God. What are they going to do? Every son is dead. The universe. Oh my god. Oh, someone hug him, please. Ah! Shooty deserves awards for his appointment this season. <laughs> Murray deserves awards for the music, too. In the hollows of this desolate universe. They are hiding somewhere lost and in the wilds. Oh. There's got to be, it's got to be another god, the strongest one. Because Maestro was all talking about that. He's got a hell of a voice, isn't he? In his early 90s? He's incredible. I'm so glad they got him here. There was a caravan that passed through, heading towards, I don't know, somewhere over that way. They said there was food, but I haven't seen them since. A bit. Hush now, darling. Let me give the man his chaffy. Who is a little one? It's that Ruby. What is this place called? I forget. Hard to remember. I... Memories are dying. That's why they've got the memory TARDIS. There was a man that said that actual facts were dying in the death wave. But I think this was the city of... Come on, huh? Then I met my husband. Whatever his name was, Tall. He was tall, I remember that. But it was all a very long time ago. Well, at least probably he's wasn't, alive. probably several weeks. Metal is a precious thing, sir. I don't think anything's precious anymore. That little life in that carrier is, if that's, oh, that's Ruby. What's it gonna be? A spoon. Sorry, it made me think of 12. Cause you see the reverence for it in their hands where she's holding it. We should go now. Are you? You okay? She all right? She thinks this is the end. My daughter died, didn't she? And I forgot. Oh, honey! Oh, poor woman! This is horrible. I'm sorry. They say it travels the death wave down the family line. 
Oh God! He said this man, he said it's, it's. Who is the man? But it's so determined to kill that it can travel backwards. Has he been here before? Is she? Is he the husband? And that's his child. Holy fort, that was an amazing scene. That's what we need. Is it Sheffield? I thought they were going to say it was Sheffield still because I'm a 13 meter Sonic at spoons. Oh, I love the cardigan. Look, look, look. And that's, that's her thing. I recognize that. Sutek was hidden for years. Why did he go on the attack? Oh, her mum. Or the per Why did he go on the attack? Why did Sutek appear on Ruby Road? He's answering you. The images are reaching out to you. What do you mean? They're trying to help. She's not gonna. It's pointing at Ruby. Sutek became visible outside the church because when he landed with the TARDIS in 2004, he saw the one thing beyond his comprehension. Your mother. But who is she? We don't know. Yeah. And neither does he. That's the point. <laughs> Come on, Ruby. You can do it, hon. Find the living through time and space and family. I wish there's something. Don't you turn her into a harbinger, don't you dare. It's the guy with the TV, but who's he? I propose compulsory DNA testing for the entire population. Yeah, we Roger up, William. Yeah, William. The most dangerous prime minister in history. She's remembering stuff. You haven't met him, have you? No. No, I couldn't, could I? Then why is it showing you? 24 years, 24 years, 20. This is so freaking good. DNA testing became compulsory for the entire population in the UK. So if your mother was still alive... She'd be on record. She would be on the register. We've never been able to oh find... Oh, God, the w Mel's a harbinger. It is showing us the way, Ruby. It's showing us the path to your mother. If I can just... What does that mean? Can we find Ruby's mother? Yeah, and what happens if we do? What is the question last time? <laughs> She's a harbinger now. She's or one of his people, one of his sous. Oh, no. Oh, Mel, don't kill Mel off. Every living thing contains dead cells. Skin. Nails. Oh my god, that's horrific. Closer. Bring them to Sutek. Find the mother's name. Oh my god, Mel, no. She's going to sacrifice herself a bit if she's still there. It was the Department of Health. They'll have the DNA. Oh, well, like, I love everything that's connecting together again. Are they gonna, is Sutek gonna try and kill her birth mother? Which will then kill Ruby, which will then change all of this? Maybe it'd be his undoing in the end. We're under top security. I guess who invented the security? Maybe turn Mel away from the screen. Maybe it'll refuse to, because of Mel. Okay. Mel. Oh, I'm so nervous. You keep watch. Just no! Anywhere. And don't take any risks. We're all getting out of this. I don't think she is. Don't worry about me. She knows, doesn't she? Oh, I think he knows. He can tell there's something wrong. She's trying to fight it, isn't she? Oh, Mel, honey. She knows she's being used and she can't see. So what do we do now? Press search. Somewhere in there is your mother's name. What if it isn't? What if she was created? What if it was her? Or Susan? Or Mrs... I don't know. Submit to the will of Sutek. Oh, Mel, no! It's sounding so dramatic. Don't kill Mel, please! Doctor, you gotta go talk to Mel. Oh my god, what the fork? What does it mean? She died. Her 
I'm sorry. I loved you, Mel. And what good did you love to do it? When did it ever help? Now give me the name. Mel! Two creatures in existence. To die at your hand. Then you can end our wretched half-life. And you can stand alone for all an eternity. Gazing upon your empire. This is incredible. I still want to know what about what Mrs. Flood said. Was she another harbinger for somebody else? I will worship you if you just allow me. <gasps> Doctor? What the hell? The screen. She can't find the name. Ruby, no. But I don't understand. What's it mean? What's it? I could. She the doctor's child? Maybe this is for you. Waiting for so long. Was she created to battle Suta? You great big god of nothing. No. Oh fucking yes. She got the rope! I knew Sutek. I knew. She's too cold. Listen to me. This way. He's calling the TARDIS, that's amazing! And they got all those I thought he had a feeling about Mel. That's amazing. This is so freaking cool. Bye bye, love. Feel sorry for her. She was cool. Whoa. Lashing him to the TARDIS and pulling him away. Yes, but what about the TARDIS? He's pulling it back into the TARDIS, into the vortex. But cut the rope, cut the rope, trap him in the, in the vortex. He saw all of time and space with me, Suzanne. So I thought, what did you see again? What happens if you bring death to death? You bring life. Whoa, oh, that is so freaking cool. Unit! Are we gonna see Kate? Come on, bring Kate back. Oh, Mel. Mel! Seems okay. And Morris. Rose. Oh, I'm so glad. Where's, where's Kate? Where's Kate? Give me Kate. Give me Kate. Oh, thank God for that. And Cherry and Mum. And Mrs. Flood. Oh! I'm so glad he's okay. That's freaking badass. And him too. And Sue's there because, of course, they, that's where she was at the end. I'm so glad she's okay. She it wasn't her fault. She was just created by him. I'm so glad she's still alive. The planet is called Agua Santina. <laughs> it's huge. Is that her? Oh, I'm so glad she's okay. The spoon. The spoon was vital. She was vital and she's got her baby back. We fought a monster. <laughs> and now... You let him loose? What are you going to do about him? become a monster. By killing him. He's got to become a monster by... Because he doesn't like killing. But... He has to. Because I pride myself. I pride myself that I am better than you. Because if you're dead, then I must represent life. Surely that's who I am. Oh, this is incredible. And that's how you win, Sute. Because he's going to go against that. He's going to kill him. Didn't see a body die. Oh, 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 I spoke too soon. But now he's gonna maybe they can possibly bring back Scaramouk against time. That was freaking badass, Doctor. It had to be done. Literally, countless lives were saved because of that, but it's still gonna hurt him. I'm still me. I've still got my memories, my family. All of that's still true, is it? I'm so glad. The God of Death created life. 
And he gave you a very good brain. <laughs> use it for good. I think Unit can use you. Oh, oh that'd be amazing. I need to help. I don't mind. I'll make the tea. Did you make I love tea? her. I did, yes. Don't make the tea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love her. I had to walk home. I got in and your gran was telling me off for not dusting. <laughs> <laughs> We've done it. Done what? DNA retrieval. 100%. Her mum? Come on, please. She was just somebody. My mother. Louise Alicia Miller. 15 when she gave birth to you. I think she did the right thing getting you out of that house. William Benjamin Garnet, 15 at the time. Louise moved to Coventry at the age of 18. Did well, got a degree. She was a real person, a real, just a real woman. And she's ordinary, but I love her for that. I just, how did she stay invisible from a god? She defeated Suit. Yeah. Because we think she's important. It's how everything happens. Every war, every religion, every love story. We invest things with significance. I love this. I actually love this. Ordering if she was somebody big. It made her sheer existence. More powerful than Time Lords and Gods. I love that. Making our baby safe. But she pointed. That's true, she did. She wasn't pointing at me. Because we cleaned up the VHS behind me. Was you? Lamp post. It was a signpost. Yeah. She was pointing at the name of the road. Ruby Road. I always thought it was called Ruby because social workers chose it or the paramedics or whatever but no it was her <laughs> oh my god i love this my name is ruby <laughs> oh my god i actually love that so much more than if she was like she's that's just i love that explanation and everything she's happy she's got a flat she's got a fella named mike there she is. Seven thousand days to come and find you, and she never has. I found her with a time machine. But you, was she looking for her just because she didn't find her? Louise Miller made her choices, and I think we should leave that alone. Just because she didn't find her doesn't mean she wasn't looking. Just talk to her, maybe. They even got their hair the similar way, like the, with the bits at there. She just wants to he hear her voice, maybe. I love that she's just somebody similarly normal. That's so cool. Doctor said he would know by looking at her. Maybe she'll know by looking at her. Ruby? That's me. I was named after a road. You left me by a church 19 years ago. <laughs> Oh Maybe she's been looking for her all this time. And I just want to say thank you. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I love this so much. I love this so much. This is so much better than if she was just like somebody huge. Oh, he's looking at us again. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh, she introduced her to them. That's so nice. Every Christmas I thought, right, this is the year. Every Christmas I thought, what if she hates me? There is no hatred in this house, darling. Uh, it's nice I've seeing Cherry out of the bed. Photos. Yeah. We've got about 500. Mm -hmm. Proper photos. Is she okay? Is she looking for the doctor? <laughs> I'm so glad they're involved in it. Oh, this is amazing. Where's Mrs. Flood? I still need to know what about what she said, though. Is that going to be a tease for the Christmas special, maybe? And he's wearing the outfit again. Yes. Uh, it won't be long. We're just going to catch you up. And he's not going to leave her, is he? Ruby. Come out and join. I've told her so much about you. She knows everything. And... Hold on. Sorry. Leave that. <laughs> and... Who was you know, that? Life the Doctor is just mad. And... Who is that on the phone? Oh, my God. What? I think they found him. My dad, dad? William, they think... 
So she never told Will about me, so he doesn't even know I exist. So we've got to go and... He's going to leave her, isn't he? He's going to leave Ruby! Your life is out there now. We're, we're losing Ruby. But this is a nice, happy one. This is beautiful. Honey, your adventure is just beginning. You could go and see my dad. <laughs> will I ever see you again? Of course you will. Is that true, though? Doctor always lies. He left her and never went back. And that was my mistake. Maybe I'll find her again one day. For you, Ruby Sunday, I will see you again. Please say you will. I talk about family in a way that I never did before. <laughs> it's because of you. <laughs> you have made my life bigger and better. And now, Ruby Sunday, goodbye. Oh, I love her so much. I hope he does see her again. I love her. This is beautiful. And he actually said goodbye. Doctor doesn't do that. He said goodbye properly. Oh. Oh, this is incredible. Who the fuck is Mrs. Blood? Oh, Doctor. I can't take him crying. Is that it? And that's how the story of the church on Ruby Road comes to an end. Okay. With a that's very happy end. Is she the god of Ruby stories, Sunday. maybe? But life goes on, doesn't it? Ruthlessly. Oh, what happens to that mysterious traveler in time and space known as the Doctor? I'm sorry to say his story ends in absolute terror. Night, night. Who the fuck is she? Right, I'm going to watch the Christmas special trailer if there is one. Who the fork is she? That was incredible. Tied everything together. We got the memory time TARDIS thingy. And I love the fact her mum was normal. I love that. The way they explained it, the way they did it. The way they explained how, like, through words that it was... um. We made her special, like it's our, our thoughts and our theories made her something big and important. There's no trailer. There's no next time trailer. What? I'm still keeping it on just in case. But I don't, or at least in what I'm watching, there's no, maybe because I had the, 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 the uh, maybe it didn't transfer over. There's no next, oh man. I'm going to go on YouTube straight after this just to see if there is a uh, next time trailer. If there is, I'm fucking watching it. Oh, it's weird seeing Disney at the end. It's the first time I got to the end. I love that so forking much. That was incredible. That was so good. I love how they did the thing with her mother. And he could come back. But who the fuck is Mrs. Flood? Is she the god of stories? Like, because the way she was like saying it was like the end of a story. And the way she said, and like the night night, was like, it made me think, honestly made me think of the bedtime stories on CBeebies, which is the the young, young kids version of BBC, but like, you got them in the night garden, Teletubbies, that kind of thing on there. Little, little kids. And um, it made me think of the end of the bedtime story. Is she the, a god of, is, has there been a god of stories? Or like, like a, that could, could be it, because like, but the way he's... Oh. He's got to be in the Christmas special. Like, the way she was, like, saying she had such plans and things like that, and they was, like, talking about it. Like, like I'm going to have to go, re like, re-watch that bit that she was saying, because I can't remember her exact words, but she was talking about, like, how she had such plans and things like that. So it's either she's a harbinger for somebody or she is a god herself. 
I was so fucking hoping we had Susan. He was going to go see Susan at the end because he said it was his mistake. I was hoping we would see Carol Ann Ford. She deserves to come back one more time. I'm still going to hold out hope. I think she's in her 80s now, but I'm still holding out hope. That we see her one more time. Because obviously we're never going to see Ian again, but we saw him one more time. Barbara sat sadly passed. The actress sadly passed before knew who happened. So I'm holding out hope that we get to see Susan one more time. So we can see one another one of the original crew. Like the original, original companion. And she, Caroline, DeFord, Caroline Ford. Caroline Ford deserves that. Oh boy. I fucking love that explanation of Ruby. Because it was our theories and our thoughts and things like that made her into something special. And look, actually, that really makes me think is, is Mrs. Flood the god of stories because of the fact that the way they were saying about words and things like that. And like it would explain the looking at the camera thing as well. That's my theory that she's a god of stories. Unless there's already been one and that's completely bullshit. But because I'm not sure, that's where I'm going. And now we saw Sutek die, but we didn't. But the fact that it's like his ashes or his atoms or whatever spread into the time vortex. To me, that says he can come back at any time. Or they could they could come up with a way to bring him back at any time. Anyway, it's not completely gone. Nope dead type thing they left it semi-open they could if they wanted to if they needed to um like i i can understand that, like some people might not like the fact that they see he did it the same way destroying him like but he i i think he did just from the little clips of that i do not want to i say i do not want to know how he, like any more about how he defeated him, but I said that about not wanting to know about Pyrrhon and Mars, and I still got told countless times. But um, I just it I can understand why people would like that, but I like it. See, it's probably foolish to think that like, that, and he thought he was probably too powerful. And also, though, I love how he said, "I'm bringing death to death," and he's doing the one like he's the. Sutet was the god of death. Timeless child. Came through that kind of thing. Is the doctor the god of... Originally the god of life? And that's why he's got unlimited lives? Maybe, maybe the doctor... Like I've, I've, I think I've theorised. I think I've seen other people theorise that maybe he's one of the pantheon originally. He could be the god of life. Because he said he represents life. And that's it. Maybe that would that, but I I feel like they place such an importance on family season, which I freaking love. They found her mum. They're gonna find her father, Ruby's father. It kind of like how like the Davina show that was in the beginning. I can never is it long last family or something like that. But I've only ever seen clips on Facebook. I freaking love watching those clips. I love that so much. So. Like, it was nice to, like, bookend it with that kind of, like, finding family thing. It was awesome seeing Cherry up and about. I love the fact they the, that she went in and talked talk to the mum. And, like, the mum said she was looking, because, like, you don't want to assume that, like, if she says, like, okay, and that, like, she didn't want to find her, then, okay, you deal with that. But they didn't know, they didn't spe specifically say she wasn't looking for you. Ruby had to try. That was beautiful, beautifully done. The music, like all season, has been amazing. But this episode especially gave me chills. That was incredible. It was shot so well. The acting was great. Oh, God. I was so scared for Mel. I thought we were actually legitimately losing Mel. Like she, like I thought maybe the Harbingers or the whatever the fork you want to call Mel and Sue. I'm sorry, I just got that Mel and Sue. <laughs> Mel and Sue. <laughs> sorry, 
That's made me laugh. Now I'm, like, I'm, I'm gonna get the giggles. Maybe because it's tired. I'm tired, but Melon, so that's brilliant. But I thought maybe we won't get them back. They would die. But it was, it was Harriet. Now Harriet was an actual harbinger. So I'm assuming we. I don't think we saw her at the end. So I would assume she's gone because the harbingers would die. She was an actual harbinger, harbinger. But um, oh, I'm so scared for Mel. But I'm glad Colonel Chidozi was back. And oh, that that was incredible. That was, oh my Lord. I forking love that. Like, I can guess I would understand that some people wouldn't like the thing about Ruby's mum being normal. But I personally loved it. Uh, the doctor's like speech about it made it incredible. Like, I've loved it. I've really enjoyed every episode of the season. Yes, yeah, Space Babies was weird and different and I can understand I can definitely understand why both people wouldn't like that one at all. But like it's not the best episode, but it was an introduction episode for people. It could have been more typical Doctor Who. But I think it was a nice like introductory like of how weird things could be and talking about certain things and things like that, laying the groundwork and stuff like that. But um this season's been incredible. Like Rogue was amazing. Um, last episode was amazing. This episode was incredibly amazing. I love it. I hope we get Ruby back somehow. I really freaking do. So I hope the doctor has like got better at that, like that little speech and stuff like that. He said it was his mistake and he said goodbye. He literally said goodbye. Like I feel like he is going to come back to her. I've got. <clears throat> I've got a feeling he does. I swear I've seen a picture. Now, I don't know if they did a picture because I know I've seen a picture with a companion. That's not Ruby. Like, I think it was an announcement one. Because, like, I think it got leaked. I'm not going to say anything spe specific because I don't want to say anything just in case. And so, like, I think um, the Doctor Who accounts had to say something. And I swear... Millie was in the pictures. Now, I don't know if they were set, put her in the pictures because they didn't want to spoil the fact she was gone now. But I think there have been speculation about it and stuff like that. But that was a beautiful send-off if it, if it is the end. But it leaves it... like it's eight, Most of the time, he leaves it open. Obviously, Amy and Rory and other people that, like, I'm assuming die as well. There's probably going to be been companion deaths. But it left it relatively open. And I hope she comes back. I really do. I've got a feeling she will. But I'm not 100% confident in that. But I freaking loved that. That was incredible. For me. Personally, in my opinion, brilliant episode. Great cap to the season. Teases the Christmas special, which I'm so looking forward to. And like with snow and... Mrs. Flood in that coach. She needs to be in it. I need to know. It's going to be torture having to wait till Christmas. To f they better tell at Christmas who the fuck she is. I'm not waiting any longer than that. I'm not waiting to the next season to find out who the hell she is. I need to know. Like, we had little teases that she's is something important because I was starting to think, going, oh, well, she's just a normal neighbour. But no. She's very obviously somebody important. And I need to know, like, I really got a weird feeling, like, uh, would there be a God of Stories? But that's the kind of, like, that might not be the specific, like, wording of it, of, like, category of godlyhood or whatever the fork you want to say. But that's the closest thing I could say, because it sounded like she was reading a story at the end. But I'm excited. I'm going to, I need to go look at YouTube to see if they've released a trailer. Although they wouldn't do. They won't release a trailer until next tomorrow night after the episodes aired on bbc i bet maybe tomorrow evening before i do the hangout because i am freaking determined to do the hangout tomorrow night or tonight whenever you guys see this but i'm gonna do that i'm determined like i might be hanging i might be like guys i'm fucking knackered but i was i, I will drag myself there i was I'm, i was so annoyed i could do last week but i 
like oh, especially if there's a trailer for the Christmas special. Because I will put a freaking spoiler warning. I will keep it permanently on the screen. I'll say spoiler warning for Christmas special. So I've got spoiler warning for Doctor Who in the title of them. Because obviously we're going to talk about them. But that is going in the title. Or it's going somewhere. Because, oh my lord. I, I, like, I was so frustrated like that I didn't do last week because I just I'm not I haven't been doing that good recently because but I didn't have like I couldn't talk about it I that was what that probably made me feeling worse than I was already feeling I just I need to get it out because my other half isn't be watching it with me so I've got nobody to talk about it with which is why I've been very grateful for the hangouts and very great like I haven't answered any comment because it's something I struggle with. Like, I struggle answering texts and phone calls and stuff like that. It's just one of my things, being autistic and suspected ADHD and all that kind of shit. Probably other stuff, I don't know. But it's been great reading comments. Not the spoilers, but I, sh I should have known it would... Doctor Who would put... I would have been spoiled some out and, like, been flashbacks. They didn't say Pyramid of... Pyramid of... Pyramid of Mars... But I would have known the fourth Doctor. I would have found out eventually, but I like... They showed little tidbits, little teaser of it, which hopefully will make people run off and watch it. You know? I would love it, but... I've, I'm a few years off from that, but that was incredible. I have loved wrapped into this season. Okay, I've been doing it at midnight. Which is... That's not good. But... I prefer doing it at midnight, going to bed, getting up, editing. Because otherwise, I'm literally up until like three o'clock in the morning editing. I can remember that with flux. I would literally um, watch it after my daughter's gone to bed. So I've had to have like, no, a few weird hours of no internet because I can't watch it when it was aired. And then I would edit it and I'd ugh, literally to like three o'clock a few times it was editing and getting it through copyright and all that. So, in a way, this is better for me personally with the way my brain works, the way everything works. But part of me, like, I'm really annoyed, obviously, that we got to wait till Christmas for more. But the health part of me is, like, glad in a way that I don't have to stay up this late every, sat every Friday, Saturday, because it's Saturday now. I look down at my clock. But, um... Part of me is glad I don't have to do that. And also, one less thing to edit. But if it meant more Doctor Who episodes, would the story work perfectly for this amount of episodes? It worked perfectly for me. Te uh, with that teaser for the Christmas special. But if it had, the story had meant for more episodes, you bet your ass I would have stayed up later. I would have done this 20 weeks, if need be, for Doctor Who. I would have stayed up. I would have struggled with the hangouts, but I would have been like, I would have shuffled things around to make it easier, you know? That was incredible. I need to go look at YouTube, see if there's a trailer. I have a feeling it's not going to be before it airs in the UK. I have a feeling they're going to wait. I would like to think they would anyway. But that was amazing. That was incredible. I loved it, and I really want to know what you guys think. I've loved doing this. Thank you so much. All those people that have viewed every, every single one of these. Like, a lot of views. More than I usually get. Doctor Who's always been good, but this season has been really great with the subscribers as well. Oh, God. The amount of you that have subscribed has been amazing for me. Like, you have... Mm, I'm going to cry. I've been going through a lot of things. A lot of stressful things recently. And like health stuff, my door school closing now and having to try to find her a different school. And um having like more people subscribe to me, more people watch my Doctor Who stuff and my other stuff as well, because we've got um classic Doctor Who. Um The Good Place, literally, as I said, just done the season three finale, which is two weeks away ahead on Patreon. That's, I'm editing that on Sunday. Um 
We've got Turn Washington Spice, which is incredible. Um, next week, I'm going to start editing down my Avatar reactions. I'm on season two of Avatar Last Airbender. Um, I'm currently also started doing for level three on Patreon Outlander, which is the books were inspired by the classic Who. I know that much. And that will be coming after Turn Washington Spice, or probably like by October time. So there's a lot of good things I'm getting through and things like that. And oh boy, there's a lot of stuff going on. I've got a poll going on Patreon that will be available, like finalized soon for The Prisoner being replaced because the 1967 series The Prisoner is on the channel. There's so much more. And I would love it if you guys stayed and stuck around. Watch some other stuff, make suggestions, join in. You guys are amazing and I am so freaking grateful. You have no idea how grateful I am for all of you. You have no idea how much you guys help. You have no idea. It means a lot and I love you all and thank you so much for watching and I will see you again absolutely for the Christmas special. Bye guys.